So let's start with the lambda expressions in Java. So basically lambda expressions, it is a feature which was introduced in Java uh, version and it was so much demanding that most of the programming languages now have lambda expressions including C++, C Sharp and even Python has lambda expressions. So today we are going to uh, see the significance of lambda expressions in the Java programming language and how the lambda expressions helps our making our program a concise and little bit more understandable. So the core concept of lambda expressions is basically to overwrite the abstract method defined in an interface. So before starting with the lambda expressions, it, it is crucial to understand what is a interface. So if you don't know what exactly an interface in Java, you can check out the video that I have created and I have given the link to that video in the description below. So first of all, we are going to create an interface and I'm going to call this in name of this interface as executable. Now this interface is going to have an abstract method and basically an abstract method is a method which does not has any implementation. It's just abstract, right? So I'm going to comment here that it is an abstract method. So this means that whenever we are going to create an instance or basically a reference to this interface, we will have to implement this function execute because here it does not have its implementation. Now this interface, since it is having only one abstract method, that's why it is known as a functional interface. And lambda expressions are basically applied to functional interfaces. That means the interface should contain only one execute function. All right, so now uh, let's create a class. We are going to create a class and let's name this class as a running class. And inside of this class, I'm going to create a method which is the run method and inside the run method I'm going to pass the interface which is executable E. You can see executable E is actually a reference to this interface. So inside of this function I'm going to call the execute function something like this. So if we will create an object of this class uh, running let's just make it public all right so if you will create an object of this class running and you will try to call this function run from uh, by using the object dot run statement if you're going to do that you can see it will call the execute method. Now remember the execute method in the interface is not defined. So at the time of function call using the object, you will have to uh, pass the implementation of this method. So that's what I'm going to do in the main method or in the main function. So first of all, I'm going to create an object of the running class let's call it as run1 new running all right so now we're going to call the run function so you can see if you will not pass any parameters to it it will uh, show you that uh, there are some actual fixes for this so it is asking you to pass the executable interface reference to that, right? So you can see that this function will take a parameter. 
now inside the uh, you have to give the parameter and you will also have to give it the implementation of the execute method since this is an abstract method so the way to do here is by just writing the new executable and when you will write this just what you just need to do is after this new executable and then you will have to just hover on this executable uh, keyword and you can see it says one quick fix available and just click on the add unimplemented methods so on clicking this you can see that it is it has actually created and uh, it is overriding the execute function so we will have to provide the implementation here right so uh, let's write the implementation we will call that execute function called all right so in very simple words uh, we, we have not yet used the lambda expressions first we are going to try it without lambda, lambda expressions then we will see how we can reduce this program to a lambda expression now uh, focus on this uh, this whole uh, block of statements you can see in the run function i am actually giving it an instance of the executable interface and I have to overwrite this execute function because it's unimplemented, right? So now if I will uh, run this program, let's try to run this program. Now you can see in the output, it says execute, execute function call, right? So it's working now. Now the problem with this pro uh, program is that this whole thing which we are passing is really uh, uh you, you will have to take care of a lot of things for example you will have to write the names of these functions then add these keywords and it's a real headache right so we will have we can actually use lambda expressions instead of this so now we are going to use lambda expression which will reduce our work of defining or implementing the abstract method defined in the interface very easily so let's see how we can do that again i'm going to call the run function now instead of writing this whole thing we're going to use the lambda expression now lambda expression looks something like this what you just need to do is use two circular brackets then a dash then a symbol this is the greater than symbol and here you will just have to write whatever you want to implement and since it is a single line we are not going to use semicolon and here i'm going to write lambda expression now let's understand what this whole thing is now you can see that instead of writing this which is new executable execute what lambda expression does is lambda expression straightforward it just says that okay this is the function an unnamed function so this is actually going to call the execute function this is a lambda expression which will try to implement the execute function so it's like we are going to start just from here right without providing all this information we are just starting from here and then since the function is going to give some output or implement some block of codes which you can see here we are going to do that after using this operator as you can see i've done here so you can see that uh, using a lambda expression this is indeed an expression using this expression i can implement uh, unimplemented methods or abstract methods of any interface uh, and it's so much easy to do that 
rather than this uh, you will prefer to do and write something like this now one more thing is that uh, you should remember that you will have to use a functional interface so you should have only one abstract method if there are more than one abstract method using uh, you cannot use the lambda expression now we are going to play out with some parameters so let's suppose you have this execute function but uh, instead of void it is returning some integer right and let's say we are also giving an integer inside the input to this function and in the run function since we are we are going to pass some integer value to this abstract method uh, let's pass 12 all right so you can see here now it uh, it shows that the uh, execute method must override or implement and it's because you have not returned uh, now it's taking some parameter int a and instead of this we will have to write int and we will also have to return something right let's return it so let's come to our lambda function now you can see that this is not going to work because uh, now we are taking con we are considering the parameters and the return type is also there so you will have to return it right so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to just paste this line here as a comment that we have implemented this lambda expression so inside of this what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass a par parameter and then i'm going to return a something like this and it should be int a right now you can see that uh, we are actually passing uh, we are actually uh, using this whole thing here now you can see here it says it is not applicable for the arguments so you will have to create some you will have to do something like this right so instead of using this i'm going to use a block of code you can also use a block of statement so if there is a uh, uh, implement if you want to implement the execute function and it has multiple lines you can actually use a block of statements inside the lambda expression so now let's try to print lambda used and since this lambda is going to return something I'm going to write return a something like this and now you can see that our code is perfect and we are passing the parameters here and we are also returning the parameter here now let's see if we can just write a here if you will try to write a then it will again it will also work at this time also so let's try to run this and see the output so you can see it says lambda used and this is what we are going to pass now instead of writing return a we also have one more choice we can actually use a literal or a constant uh, instead of this i can simply write 8 right so what will happen is uh, this uh, lambda expression it basically says that you are giving a as the input parameter and the return type is 8 or the returning very uh, constant is 8 right so this is our another implementation of the lambda expression i'm going to paste it here and let's try to run this again okay so it it is actually returning it but it is not displaying it because of our implementation we're returning it but we are not displaying it so 
now this is also a, a lambda expression and we can see that inside this we can actually pass it like this now remember if you have a single input you can actually do something like this right so it's uh, really great you can see that instead of using this much of code you can use the single line of code so if you have single parameter single input parameter you do not need to use the circular parenthesis if you have multiple parameters you will definitely have to use those circular brackets so these are the lambda expressions now uh, let's say you want to pass and try to do something like this and this time we will uh, definitely write a block of statement here I'm going to write lambda called and since we are using multiple statements we will have to use the semicolon now so uh, now we are giving two input parameters so here also I will change it to two parameters you if you have multiple parameters you can do that now we are just trying out with the integer parameters in the input you can also give some object reference or some other parameters like float also so instead of 12 let's let's pass some more values and now you can see we will have to return two variables let's return 4 comma 5 all right so we can't do it like this a comma b all right you should remember that the output is actually a single variable so it should be a plus b all right so th this is how you can use the lambda expressions and uh, remember if you are actually going to use these expressions it is going to definitely make a difference in your program so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching